everyone, my name is Katie. Welcome back to my channel. This is part three of my AuthorTube series. There's just one more video after this talking about AuthorTube video ideas. The first one was tips. The second one was balance between trends and your passion. And today I'm talking about the benefits of AuthorTube. So if you were like, I don't want to start one, I'm too scared, yada yada, let me tell you what I've gained so far. I have gained confidence in talking on camera, in rolling, like I don't script and so my brain is like rapid firing things to say and like work at the same time I'm talking, which is great for when you have to talk at public speaking events, if you're doing like a book tour, if you need to talk to your agent on the call, or your editor or <laughs> editor, editor or publisher or like anyone and you want to sound eloquent and amazing. I know we're all writers so we probably would rather write out our speeches but I think this gives you so much confidence for talking in person um, on this video and like putting yourself out there. Instagram stories is a great way to start too but if you're gonna have to be promoting your books and promoting yourself like AuthorTube is a great space to start. You'll get a feel for it, you'll get a feel for like if you need coping mechanisms, like some type of mechanism to help you. You'll realize how many times you say um. You can view other people's channels too and get help on your queries on how to write a book. If you're not familiar, I did a lot of research with like writing craft books and stuff for my channel and did videos on them and this channel has made me a better writer because I wanted to share that with my viewers who were also writers. So that has helped me be a better writer, a better speaker, a better, um, like, <laughs> as I'm saying speaker, um, just interacting better. <laughs> Building that community, putting myself out there, um, enhancing my writer skills, all of that. There's like so many benefits to a channel. Things like you don't even think about when you're starting your channel, you just are like, yay, growth, like yay. And you don't think about all the other things. Because as you start building a community, and especially one that wants to follow your books, say that I'm a young adult and adult romance, contemporary romance writer, I'm probably gonna find those people and they can become my critique partners, my beta readers, um, my proofreaders, like whatever I might need. We're gonna grow close enough for me to reach out and ask. Or if I just make a call and be like, hey, I need readers, they're gonna say like, me, me, me. And I'm be like, yes, I trust you, let's go. Twitter and Instagram are also great tools for finding betas and CPs. Um, but I think putting you and your work out there on YouTube and I guess Instagram's a good space too. Um, and having your newsletter, your author newsletter from your website, all of that's gonna help your community know who you are and what your books are about to see if they even want to beta or critique for you um but even beyond that like you're growing your readership too and i know like a lot of your subscribers and viewers are going to be other writers that's kind of just how it works but writers are also readers so they also are going to want to read your work eventually you'll kind of need to like do this <laughs> I love how it's like words and then I'm like what are words um, and like expand your your viewership to actual readers and booktubers, book tick talkers, book talkers, <laughs> um, those people who are going to help promo your book a little bit better but um, and who are going to read your book. But for right now, don't worry about that, you're just starting out. Another great thing about starting an authortube channel is for the accountability. Because like I said in the last video, if you're on here talking about a project and like a year later you're still talking about that project, that's accountability. You're going to be like, maybe I should finish this book. Or like, where am I at in the stage of this book? Maybe I should be working on another book. Maybe these viewers are tired of hearing about so-and-so in this book and they're like, why aren't you published yet? Things take time, people. Like a lot of people don't know until you're in it, in the query trenches or self-publishing, like things take time. But you might not want to talk about the same book for like three years in a row either. And if you're like coming into Nano saying, I'm going to write 50,000 words. Accountability, I want to see that video after Nano and see how you did. Accountability, I want to see how edits are going. Accountability, I want to see your outline and brainstorm for your next project. Like 
I want to know your journey. And you vlogging that, you making a video about your journey is your own accountability progress. Like you could check yourself more so than like your viewers can um, because you'll know where you're at. And yeah, just the community in general. I got to be on a writing community convention author tube panel. Me, a small author tuber, got to be on that panel because I knew people and they said I should do it. They volunteered me basically and then I got some more friends to join and um, it was a really fun panel with people I had talked to online already on Instagram and YouTube. Community is so fun and especially when you do panels together on YouTube, you do a live stream, you do writing sprints, you do collaborations, you can do um, tags, like so many things. I love this community. I have found my friends in it. I should probably make more friends and go watch more author tube videos. <laughs> but um, when you're just starting out, like that's very important to make those tight friendships and be able to make videos together, support each other. You can be each other's buddies for liking, commenting, um, sharing, all of that jazz. Like make friends and help each other out. Um, being a lot of us as writers are introverts and this kind of makes you be more extroverted where you have to reach out to other people and basically be like, hey, I like you and your writing. Can you be my friend? Like I want to hang out with you online. <laughs> like um, it's even cooler if they live near you and you can meet in person. But I think that's so cool in this digital age that you can like make friends with people through a computer and it's like you know them and they live um, countries away, states away. And yeah, I just, it's so, there's so many benefits to AuthorTube. If you are considering it, if you are like, I'm not really sure, just dip your toe in and see how it goes. And especially if you already have writer friends, if you already have AuthorTube friends, they're gonna support you. You are not alone. If you are alone, if you think you are alone, comment on this video and I will go support you myself and watch your videos and subscribe. Um, I definitely know that feeling in the very beginning when you're like, nobody cares, I am talking to nobody, but eventually you will get found, your count will go up. And like, I think I had one writer friend at the time who was helping me and then I met some more people later that year, uh, just like a, a month or two later, started connecting with them and it just kept expanding. So just like, it's really cool like when you're a ways out to look back and see where you started or like how you've grown or who you've grown with, like <sighs> so many benefits. Like I would not be talking to half the people that I do now without AuthorTube. I would not be the writer I am without AuthorTube. I would not be able to just spitball word vomit if not for YouTube <laughs> and yeah like a personal story I literally went to author Brittany Wang's messages on Instagram she had like asked when she was getting her um, Instagram challenge going like years ago um, for me to be a part of it and I was just like yeah I don't know what's happening I don't know anybody like ah, I don't even know you like what's going on and then like later I was like oh my gosh I like literally know nobody what is happening like Brittany reached out to me what am I doing I like her she seems cool so I reached out through her <laughs> message and I was like, hi, can you tell me all about yourself? Can we be best friends? And it was like that total like stepbrothers moment. Like, did we just become best friends? Yep. Um, but yeah, like don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Growing your community on Instagram, Twitter, um, YouTube is just really fun. Getting in this community is fun. You can see other people's struggles, other people's highlights. You can learn, you can share, you can teach. Like it's... It's just so good. There are so many things going on beyond what you immediately perceive. So I just want you to see past all of that and dip your toe in. <laughs> I think that's all I have for today for benefits, but um, let me know if y'all have any questions or fears that you want me to talk out or anything like that. Next week's video is about topic ideas and all of this is coming out to where you should be able to like squeeze them in by the end of, before the end of November. So good luck if you are starting your channel this month. Good luck um, and let me know in the comments and otherwise I will see y'all in another video. Bye!